Hey everybody, Cliff on Comics here, and I want to share with you my first impressions of Jewel Force. I've kept hearing about this online card game, and then I keep checking every once in a while the App Store, and then like I got a Google notification that like this game is available for the PC. So I went to dcjewelforce.com, I downloaded the game, I put like five bucks into it uh, to get this actually the Shazam mini set. Um, I've already played through the tutorial and stuff, so like you know, just bear with me, and I'll I'll try to explain some of the game to you. Um, we can start with the collection. Um, so like this Swift Justice Superman Flash team up deck, this Brave and the Bold Batman Wonder Woman deck, this Deadly Divas. Um, these are all uh, things that you unlock when you're doing the tutorial in the game. I actually put together magic words from the packs that I open from completing the tutorial, etc., and the $5 pack that I purchased um, of Shazam. So I've got all, all the Shazam stuff in there. Um, so like, if I go to edit the deck, you have to choose your leaders. Leader cards are separate than the cards you're playing. So of course, in this case, I've got Wonder Woman and I've got Shazam. And they count as a hero deck. Uh, Shazam is energy-based. Wonder Woman is might-based. Um, of course, you can use whatever, basically whatever cards in your deck. Um, but of course, I, I went with stuff that suits them. Um, and a little bit of filler, like Stargirl is a filler card. Um, but I've got Antiope in there, or Antiope. I'm um, sorry. Uh, that mascara and Minotaur, Steve Trevor. I could use another one of him, Crypto, because I love him. Look, we got Pedro, we got Eugene, and we got Darla. And you notice that they are like a bronze. So the, these bronze characters are, or these bronze cards are cards you can play early. Silver is like, you'll see the little silver icon, let you know you can play silver. Then comes gold, and like that's like the mega level cards, and you can play them later. And there's actually a whole bunch of stuff to build those resources. Um, there's cosmetics that you can change. I don't have any yet, although there are a couple that I've been looking at that I really like. There's emotes too, um, but like, you know, you have to you have to purchase or earn or earn those. Uh, it's got a few modes of play right now. There seems to be like regular play, where we could just play against you know the AI. So we could do versus AI, or we could do unranked versus some. I guess. They intend to do rank. They intend to do subscriptions. They intend to do more. It's just not all there yet. But the game plays, and that's good. Um, so there's a comics mode, by the way, where you can earn stuff. Um, you'll see I've already completed Justice League issue number one. And now I'm on to Justice League <laughs> issue number two. Um, and I'm midway through it. So you can see I can restart or I can play. We're going to play, and let's just see how it goes. And of course, I do wish it was like a little bit faster, but I guess we're just, I'm just gonna, just gonna hang with that. So Wonder Woman and Aquaman versus Darkseid. Wonder Woman and Aquaman have a plan. When Darkseid's health is brought down to 55, Wonder Woman will strike. When Darkseid's health is brought down to 40, Aquaman will strike. Let's give that a shot. Wow, they are really making us wait. Okay. I'm so envious of other people and their live streams and everything going real smooth, but it's a new game. All right. So you see, these are, with the exception of this Amazonian Bracers, which is only to give a character a buff, everything else is later game. So I'm going to X these out and hit redraw and keep the one card. And I've got a Steve Trevor, so that's that's helpful. All right, so it's the beginning of my turn. You'll see that we've got, I can only play one of the bronze resource. And you'll notice a number here on Wonder Woman. When Wonder Woman hits two, I can click that two and activate her effect. And over here with Aquaman, same thing. We can act activate the effect. So when Aquaman hits three and you use it, Aquaman gets three power this turn. So it can actually attack like one of the like one of the cards, summon the sea creature and give friendly sea creatures everywhere, plus one, plus one. Wonder Woman, 
she gets a plus three attack. She gives a friendly recruit in in the Wonder Woman in Wonder Woman's lane that means placed right in front of her. They get a plus one plus one. All right. So we're gonna for turn one we're gonna place Steve Trevor, and he's got deploy, um, and which means it, it takes effect when he gets to the battlefield. Charge a friendly leader. So we're gonna charge Wonder Woman. All right, and Wonder Woman's up to two, so that means I can click that two, and she's got a three attack this turn, and I'm gonna go straight for Dark Side. All right, and that's all I can do on my turn, so end turn, and now the opponent goes, in this case, the computer. It's another Steve Trevor, I'm like, Am I genuinely excited? I am. And I could do two, two bronze. All right. So we're going to drop him over Aquaman and use his effect to charge Aquaman. And we'll use Aquaman's ability. He summoned a sea creature and the sea creature bonus. I can still use this other card. Give a friendly character a plus three shield and or three defense and aura. Um, you know what? Let's give it to Steve. Steve number one. And we'll use him to attack this parademon. And we'll have Aquaman with a clear line of attack right into Dark Side. And again, the end turn lights up because you have no more actions available to you. So you just click that. I like on the side too, like a little, a little like what's going on, who attacked, who ended up dead. All right, so that's one of their action action cards, and uh, purple purple is tyrant. So like they all have a theme. All right, so that's Wonder Woman's <laughs> Themyscira Minotaur, perfect for Wonder Woman. Let's charge Wonder Woman up. It buffs Steve once again. I'll use Miniature Steve to take out the Power Demon. And I'll use, see how I have a silver icon now? So now I'll use a silver effect to deal damage to Parademon. So that card, deal damage to an enemy recruit equal to the damage of your highest damage recruit. So Steve being a four, four damage. All right, now who's available to attack? Steve can attack. Wonder Woman can attack this turn because of her effect. Aquaman can, effect, can attack this turn. Great. And of course, because we're in comic book mode, we actually have little comic book cutscenes. Yeah, Wonder Woman, use those bracelets. And stab Dark Side in the eye. I am I'm really not a tremendous fan of this new 52 period. There's a couple cute things that happen in that story, but overall. I wasn't thrilled with it. Uh, this is a black card. like So that means I can play this effect for free. Um, permanently increase Darkseid's leader ability cost by three. Why would I do that? Fury of the Amazons. Increase Darkseid's leader ability. Oh, his cost. Make it harder for him. Yes. Yes, and I has to reach seven. Oh, I like that. All right, and we can still recruit the Minotaur. All right. Now, oh, I forgot the seahorse can attack. And that's our turn. Ooh. A hulking parademon. Now, parting shot, of course, when we destroy it, it hits all leaders. So we got to be careful. Flex Mentallo, very Doom Patrol. Let's see what we can do. The first time Flex Mentallo's attack increases on your turn, create a action token in your hand. It's a bronze action token. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, Aqu can Aquaman attack every turn? Well, we're under 55, so maybe Aquaman can attack like every turn. That's a that's great. 
Wonder Woman's got to get there. All right. So we're going to do Steve's damage to this. He is guarding Dark Side, so I will attack with Aquaman. It will damage it will damage Aquaman a bit in the process. All right. But wow, we got we got those boost. Everyone's Everyone's tagging. All right, Steve. The Minotaur. Aquaman Seahorse. Aquaman already attacked this turn, so that was a waste on my part. Wonder Woman attacks. And I can still... Oh, there we go. Aquaman thrust his trident into Darkseid's remaining eye. There we go. So, of course, it's just trying to give you a taste of playing out the comic book action. But even while blinded dark side stands still. Meanwhile, after infiltrating the tower, Batman searches for Superman. Darkseid's generals are torturing Superman. Steppenwolf, decide how lovely. Before Batman can intervene, an outside force activates the general's boxes, creating boom tubes that teleport the generals away. Batman rushes to revive Superman. The two heroes see the ongoing battle with Darkseid through the boom tube. The heroes have one last chance to stop Darkseid. Superman flies into battle. Oh, we're Superman and Batman versus Darkseid. If I recall, it's Cyborg that got the boom tube action going. I'm terrible. All right. Alfred, awesome. Cyborg, awesome. Uh, one higher end card. You know what? It's early, so we'll drop that. Crypto, all right. Let's start with Cyborg, who's got a great effect. At the start of each turn, you draw a card. And Cyborg gets plus one, plus one. I love it. He creates a bandage. I love it. Alfred, it's so great. Ooh, Superman cards. Oh, look, it's son of Kal El Superman, but they call him Superboy. So, like, what are we going to do? Hurl it into the stratosphere. Put an enemy recruit into your opponent's deck. Oh, nice. All right, that's for later. Let's put in, let's put Alfred to work. And we'll use Bruce's effect. Um, give an enemy recruit negative two damage. Heal a damage from... Let's pick a heal card for now. And again, it's black, so it's free. Um, and we still have one bronze left. Okay. Let's bring out Steve Trevor. And we'll have him charge Superman. And we'll use Superman's effect this turn. All right, I'll have Cyborg take out the Parademon. You know what? Oh, we can heal Cyborg! Oh, snap. All right, Superman will go after Darkseid. And Batman will go after Darkseid. And that'll end our turn. Dark side gets more powerful. Parademons, awesome. All 
Uh, Lucius, upgrade your gadgets anywhere. Interesting. All right. I am going to use... Well, Alfred creates the bandages. All right. We're going to use Steve to knock out that parademon. And... I think we're going to have to play Superboy as our upgraded card. And you know what? Let's play another Alfred. Yes, another Superboy. All right, so um, did I attack with everybody? I certainly have. No, I could still heal someone. Yeah, let's heal. Let's heal our precious cyborg. All right, and that brings us to the end of turn. Uh, Superboy has got shield. And of course, the next time this character would be damaged, prevent it. So there you have it. Wow, Darkseid really just obliterated that man. Okay. Wow. Ooh, we got a flash card. Interesting. All right, let's. I'm going to take a chance with this speed ability, this flash ability. Ooh. I like that. We'll use it to knock out the parademon. We'll activate Flash's ability. He gets Flurry, so he can attack twice. So that's four damage from him. Two more from Alfred. Two more from Alfred. Four from Superboy. And we'll finish him off with ten from Cyborg. Victory! You know what's really convenient is... Um, It's just so funny. And this was Jim Lee's work, too. All right. So we got Bursting Boom Tube, Summon Parademons into your empty spaces. We got a card back with Di Dark Side. We've got a thousand dual coins. Very nice. And do we have a new comic adventure? Nope, we've completed two, and that appears to be it for now. All right, so back to our main screen. Um, so in the store, 
There's all sorts of new stuff. Now you'll see there's a subscription coming soon for 10 bucks a month where you'll get all these awards like most mobile RPGs. Here's my Shazam collection. So this was my my one little purchase. Um, and you get, you know, the Shazam leader, the wizard Shazam, Mr. Mine, the six blessings, which is a fantastic power up, uh, power of hope, Mary, Freddie, uh, who are rare, uh, Eugene, Pedro, Darla, who are uncommon. Um, yeah, there are really, there's nothing common there <laughs> for them. Um, but I did pair them up in a Wonder Woman deck, so I will we'll do that real quick, and then I will stop boring you guys to death. Let's do unranked, my magic words, hone your skills, play against unranked, unranked match against another player. Let's do it. So yes, Shazam is energy, Wonder Woman is strength, um... You know, every game has to have types, right? So, like, in Magic, you've got your your five colors. Here, we've got our own variation of that. Lancelot. All right. So, I, Eugene, great to start with. Um, don't need two Freddies. Oof. All right. I'm starting off with only Eugene. Now, he creates three lightning bolts in the deck. So three of these cards have just gone into my deck. And Shazam's special, when I use it, he gets, the pl he gets plus six attack... Um, but he creates six lightning bolts also that go into the deck. All right, so that's my turn. This dude bought the green arrow pack, so. What does green arrow do? So he seeks out a trick arrow, and of course it could be a common, uncommon, or rare. And of course we know what Wonder Woman does. Freddy's effect is cool. After you play an action, create two copies in your deck. Like that is that is very nice because I think the limit on everything is like two copies per deck. But we can only do so much this turn. Um, so I'm going to use Eugene here to attack Wonder Woman. And that'll be our turn. Doom, 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 doom. Can you get, yeah, the volume's all the way up. You should be hearing this. An arrow for every occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to wreck me. <laughs> Man, he's still got two uncommons. Oh, he is going to wreck me. Oh, Wonder Woman's powered up. Ooh. So with Aura, anything that would, it, would be effective, so if they target him with an action or ability, it's not going to work. But if they straight up hit him, uh, he's down. I'm really jealous that Wonder Woman has powered up her Minotaur. <laughs> so the question is here, and he's got Hunter, uh, which he can attack hidden and protect the characters. Um, and, of course, he draws a card when it comes to play. Um, so Wonder Woman is was protected. <laughs> and hidden characters, they just, like, show up stealthy. All right. So our Superman here. He shows up with an aura. If you have a character with shield, he will also get shield. Um, let's see. Power of Hope. Create a lightning bolt in your deck for 
each friendly character. Ooh, and draw a card. We don't have friendly characters right now. Superboy's got shield. But you know what? Freddy is better. So we'll use that to protect Wonder Woman. It will activate her ability. Uh, I guess she's taking out the question. Probably not my best move there, guys. All right. We'll end that. So neither of their abilities are going off this turn. He's not strong enough to take on my guy. Oh, the boxing glove arrow. Oh, he hit my boyfriend. Oh, wait. No, the aura protected him. The aura protected him. Wow. Give a friendly recruit plus three plus three. Ooh. And now the mentor is huge. Oh, he took out my Freddy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yes, it's a free card. I love it. It does two damage. Let's take Nightshade out. Nightshade, who is per who's mostly known as being a member of the Suicide Squad in more modern iterations. However, uh, she was definitely part of the group of characters that came from Charleston, like Captain Adam, Blue Beetle, etc. So, fun to know. Look at Ma Kent. She gives your leaders bonus defense. I love that. But what I'm really loving is, let's get Superboy out there. And let's get his buddy out there. So he has aura and shield because he copied shield from Superboy. We'll power up Shazam. Look at that, right into the deck. And Shazam, well, we'll go after Green Arrow. Very, very helpful. And that's my turn. Next turn should be good. Queen of Palta will boost will boost uh, the other characters, and then the power of hope will will help us draw a card and get more lightning bolts. We're really big on the lightning bolts. Ah, oh, Superboy lost shield. That sucks. And this guy getting his arrows. Cannon's still looking good. At the end of turn, heal two damage from each of your other characters. Ooh, she can start healing up that Minotaur if she wants. Oh, Hippolyta, I feel betrayed. Oof. Here it comes. If it's coming at all, come on. I have like no emotes either. And I'm just like, I just like, ah, emote something. All right. So I just lost a shield. Ooh, she wanted to hit him. Interesting. Oh, well, time is running out. All right, so now I can use a gold 
and I can use the silver this turn. Now I can use the silver in place of gold. I can use the bronze in place of silver. You know how it goes. Um, oh, Superboy. Let's power you up with Wonder Woman's ability. Let's get Hippolyta out on the field. Power you up some more. We still got a gold left. All right, this is black, so it doesn't do anything. Let's uh, I can do two damage to any target. You know what? Let's do Wonder Woman. And that should draw me a card. Yes. And it's a gold. Give the next recruit in your deck plus one, plus one. Guard, evade, aura, speed, and flurry. Like, ugh. So, yeah, guard in your front row characters. Guard and protect your friendly characters. Evade, they would avoid an attack. Aura, great. Flurry, they attack twice. Speed, they have height, haste. They can attack immediately. Yeah, we're going to use this. Superboy into Wonder Woman. Followed by Wonder Woman. And that'll be our turn. Speedy. Oh, he took down Superboy. Titanium electric arrow. Oh. Ooh, my Wonder Woman's rough. This isn't good. Oh, they took out my Wonder Woman. We damage your pop. You know what? We're going to take her down. Can't have her to continue to heal people. I can't no. That art was from Superman Secret Origins, also written by Jeff Johns. It's, like, it's a little weird that almost everything here is written by Jeff Johns. This is a little more recent. Poor John, they just kept giving him different outfits. All right, does he have shield? He's got shield. So he could hit one he could hit Hippolyta and not take damage.
Oh, there's our Hippolyta with everything. All right, we'll put her front and center. We'll draw hopefully two cards. One. Nope, because we only have one recruit. So I guess that's how that's gonna be how that works. All right. Shazam. You know what? Let's get shield. Oh no, come on, Hippolyta. Why? Ah, oh, all right, end of turn. All right, this looks terrible for me. At least she'll have to be hit twice because she does have. She's got guard and evade. All right, so the evade. She'll avoid an attack. Oh, she's still got evade. Super boy. May the gods grant us their favor. There we go. Oh, he took no damage. Oh, Wonder Woman was able to strike Shazam. Ah, uh, Thanagarian Mace to power stuff up. Great. All right. She still has aura. Oh. Should I try hitting Wonder Woman directly? Yeah, let's hit Diana directly. So this is... And I am thinking of. Nope. Gotta end my turn. There we go. I have no cards. What are we doing? Star Girl. So she'll generate an extra bronze energy token or whatever. It'll appear on the side somewhere. And in effect, would enable me to play yet another card on my turn if things were working out right. They are not looking great at the moment. <laughs> Five damage. To, yeah, boom. He's out. Any one of them, well, Hippolyta or Roy can finish the job. Nope, he wants to make sure that he annihilates, annihilates her too. Wow. And I am defeated. So that was my custom deck, folks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's go. All right. I just want to, since I want to give you a, a little show of everything, let's go to the store. Um, packs. 
So you need gems, right? And that's currency. So $10 will get you a thousand gems and a bonus of 50 gems. And, you know, a hundred bucks is going to get you 10,000 gems, but 3000 bonus gems. So 13,000 gems. So you can buy these packs in store. But I mean, like I'm happy with the Shazam one, 500 for the green arrow one. And you get a green arrow leader. And then your super rares, rares, commons that are all green arrow themed. Malcolm Merlin. <laughs> Your actions deal lethal damage. I like it. And lethal, of course, just means it's like death touch from magic. John Diggle, so they'll like even if you do one damage, whatever it hits is destroyed, just not the leaders. After you create your first act, after you create your first action each turn, John Diggle gets plus one plus one. All right, Connor Hawk, Green Arrow's son. He's got hunters, so he can hit those hidden people and protected people. Deploy Connor Hawk gets plus one attack for each action in your hand. That's cool. Brick, if a non, if non, if non damage would be dealt to brick, prevent it, and he gets plus three. Interesting. Onomatopoeia. Ooh, they must have gotten Kevin Smith's permission. He's got firepower. I don't know what that keyword is yet, and of course, it's not helping. Uh, if Cupid, discard a card, deal six damage to a random enemy. Shadow, deploy, give another friendly character, recruit lethal. I'm probably going to end up getting it, but let's just do packs. Origin packs. I, too bad I don't have 5,000, so I could just do this. All right, but we'll just do one pack. All right, maybe we'll do a couple packs. All right, and then here's like the big thing. I wish there was a way where you could just do this all together. Um, I have not found it yet. It seems to be just do one at a time. You know, like even Hearthstone lets you do like a whole bunch. I got a second last of truth. That's great. Friends in high places. Seek a gold recruit from your deck. Give them plus three, plus three. Straight jacket. An enemy recruit loses all attack. Life absorb. All right. And let's see. Ooh, encourage. Your recruit is five attack or more are invincible this turn. That's nice. Move and exhaust an enemy recruit. Diana's great. So you could use this to move somebody who's acting as a protector um, and that'll work really well. Did I open both packs? Did I only, I only bought one pack. I, apparently that's the problem. All right. Yes, we're going to the pack screen. And once more with feeling. Ooh, two special cards. Let's see. Bane. And he's an Arkham inmate. After Bane damages a leader, he's attacking, exhausts them, and permanently increase their leader ability by two. Oh, so he really slows them down. Trickster. Nice. After you discard a card, deal three damage. All right. Very cool. I'm just not 100% sure on the rarity. Like, I think Trickster is definitely more rare. Uh, you, but you can play them early, and that's pretty good. All right. And we got Joker Toxin. After you play or discard this, deal five damage to a random enemy leader. Count Vertigo. Each player discards a random card, then draws a card. Partners in Crime. Oh, Punch and Judy. Uh, summon Punch. Oh, Julie. Some, summon Punch and Julie. Um, all right. Were they punching Jewel once upon a time? I don't know. Um all right, so we're out of there. Very nice. All right, and if y'all want to stick with me just a little bit more, we could build a deck, and then maybe I'll time this out down to the doodly-doo thing, and that's right. I love Matt Colville. I'm calling it a doodly-doo. Um, Oh, now I'm, now I'm all over the place. Now I'm all over the place. Main menu. All right. Collection. We're going to do a new deck. And we'll do tactics. Oh, sorry. 
I want tactics and might. So we will do Superman and Batman. And we'll confirm that. All right. So here's all of our recruits and actions that are options for them. All right. Now, if I try, see, I can't, I can't switch. Right? They're locked out because, like, Batman's tactics, Superman is is strength. So I can only use cards from those two. Um, so yeah, we're going to take Superboy and Aquaman has, no, oh, no, no. We'll use him if we had Aquaman. I'll take Supergirl too. Why not? That's a cool card we'll come back to. Truth and Justice, yes. Again, it's a higher card, but. All right. Ooh, Detective Chimp. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Harvey Bullock, deal one damage to an enemy recruit. Like, I kind of like this, and he plays early, so yeah, let's do that. Let's get some healing in. Let's use this utility belt to seek out gadgets. The back computer to draw cards. Miss Martian, return a friendly recruit to your hand. Oh, that's interesting when she comes into play. Huntress is also a hunter. Jim Gordon, Evade. By the way, I, I don't know everything about who's made this game. Um, but, like, all the art that they use is borrowed from comics, and all the art borrowed for these cards, I've seen them in Cryptozoic's DC deck building game, and we're looking at the credits now. I'm just really really wondering if there is some relationship there or if it's just like hey this is all this is all the consumer art that we have like like in one package that you could purchase and that's it i like that there's a, a cliff out there oh wow multiple teams and you definitely need a legal department Holy cow. Okay. Well, I am now starting to think it's just a licensed package from, from DC Warner Brothers, where it's like, here, use this. Wow. Okay, you know what? Don't want to bore you with that. Uh Let's just try. All right, you know what? Let's we're gonna do just bronze effects. All right, so crypto's our boy. We're gonna use him. Lois is great. We'll use that. Oh, we definitely want this. Ma Kent, I figure it's it's appropriate. Um, Warlord. Wow. Rest. Return enemy recruit to your opponent's hand. You know what? Detective ship looks fun. That looks good. All right. Let's go to our silver. Um, yeah, I feel like steel is worthy of being there. I like Hippolyta. I like Keenan. I like this hammer throw. Now, you notice I'm at 16 out of 20 cards for the Superman side of things. So that's good to know. Um You know what? Steve Trevor is useful. That's useful. Heal five damage from a friendly character. Nah. You know what? Antiope is going to be. No, actually, it's not going to be Antiope. It's going to be the Minotaur. I like him a lot. All right. Any free stuff? Ooh, there's a free Batarang. All right. So we're at silver. 
Summon a squad car. Oh, nice. Interesting. There's the Nightmare Nurse. Sound a cannon, deal three damage to an enemy, return the card. Azrael for ambush. Interesting. Let's do Huntress. Let's do. You know what? What do we got in the gold arena? Oh, yeah. Metron. Oh, yeah. We're doing that. Okay. Gotham Girl. Oof. She's just big. This is return all cards to the hand. This is nice. Let's look at that. All right. And then back to our silver. We got the Sonic Cannon. You know what? We're going to use Nightmare Nurse because she worked against us. Now, if you click the st stats here, it'll show you what we've got. Um, I'll name this deck Worlds Finest. All right. And then, yeah, we're saving it. And you know what? We will play against the AI. We will pick the world's finest. We'll see how this goes one day when I have more packs. This is one time where I hope people are watching me at double speed. <laughs> so I get right to it. Ooh, match found. Some Michael Turner, Superman, Supergirl art. Ooh, Lex Luthor and Doomsday. This is brutal. All right, so this one's free. We're going to keep that. I feel like we're going to need Huntress soon. You know what? But, again, we need stuff for the early game. There we go. There's... There's our early game. Now we're not healing anyone, so we're done. Let's see. We're going to seek out a gadget for Batman. You know what? I like that one. We could use two and take him out. Oh, that was not not my great plan. Prometheus. Characters have to have shield, and that is not what I've been doing. An enemy leader loses the charge. Oh. All right. 
Ventriloquist. Uh, poor Lois. Wow, every, just about everybody took a little something there. Boy, they just are sending their guys into me. I kind of like that. All right, I can play two silvers. That's awesome. We'll activate Batman. That will activate Superman plus seven attack, and he's invincible. Love that. Send them at each other. We'll batarang the ventriloquist. We go heavy into yeah. Let's go heavy into Doomsday. And we'll heal steel. We'll play Superboy. We'll play Hippolyta. Very nice. We ended that turn quite strong. And most importantly, with Doomsday Week. Ooh, Lex and his satellites. Solomon Grundy. Summon Solomon Grundy without the ability. Oh, Solomon Grundy returning. Oh, nice. Oh, we got our healing nurse. We're going to use her, that's for sure. All right. We'll sacrifice Hippolyta and have Superboy. Son of Kal El. <laughs> Finish that off. And of course, Grundy resurrected. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm like distracted by the phone, but like Mark Wade just like just put out a thread. That's right, people are using thread it, slowly but surely. Uh, Howard Chaikin and Mark Wade have elected to combine their experience to teach people what they need to know to create comics and graphic novels. If you're planning on being near Austin Convention later this month, we encourage you to check out our class. All right, very cool. All right, can I use Batman's ability this turn? I think I can, but he's asleep. So that sucks. But I'll use that for the recruit. She's lethal. Oh, Metron, awesome. All right, I'm gonna reduce her damage to nothing for attack. We'll have Superboy hit her and see. Yeah, he still got shield. All right, so no, all right, excellent, excellent. Right, we got Metron out there who should be fetching us cards. I love it. Who she can attack? Wow, let's do that. And there's our turn. All right, it's not perfect, but I don't hate it. And Lex is, Lex is really grinding down. No, oh, all these Arkham guys, jeez.
Oh, they're coming after my dude. They don't want me to draw cards. I hate it. Oh, we can return everyone to their hands. Oh, I love that. That's so great. Highest damage. Give a friendly recruit plus three plus three. Yeah, let's give it to Superboy. Yeah, let's have John get in there. Oh, wait, I only got one left. Let's take out Joker for fun. Let's keep hitting Lex. Oh, Soups is so close, so close. Yep, that's the turn. Ugh. Super boy. Yeah, let's just get him out of there. Finish Lex off with Connell. Cal Al. John. John Kent. My words. I'm terrible. All right, we did it. The Superman Batman deck worked. All right, so thank you for joining me for this half hour or whatever it's been. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for checking in and putting up with all this stuff. Um, so, I mean, I actually, I think I like the game. Um, we'll see what happens once it's more than just on the PC. So it's only available for PC, not available for Macs, still not available on Steam. Not on iPhone, not anything else, but I do like it. So, and when it becomes more widely available, cool, I already have some stuff going on there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Oh my god, it was an hour. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you for joining me for an hour. All right, peace.